Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Good morning and welcome to all of you. I want to thank everyone for joining us for today's important roundtable on how we can build on welfare reform success to lift more Americans out of poverty. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie Wolorski from Indiana 2nd District. As ranking member of the Worker and Family Support Subcommittee, I'm proud of the subcommittee's longstanding leadership and multi-year efforts to pass welfare reform. We have consistently enacted policies that reduce poverty by helping families achieve self-sufficiency through the dignity and value of work. As welfare reform turns 25, I know it sounds impossible, but it's turning 25, now is a great time to affirm the fundamental and enduring principles of personal responsibility and work that Republicans on this committee successfully championed in 1996. Welfare reform converted our nation's welfare system from an open-ended entitlement, which caused rising welfare caseloads, long durations of poverty, and, rise, and raising single parenthood into the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF block grant, that provides fixed funding to states and for the first time required work in exchange for benefits. That's why I'm so proud to co-sponsor the Jobs for Success Act to restore the promise of welfare reform by reauthorizing TANF to strengthen accountability and measure work outcomes. In my home state of Indiana, TANF provides a cash benefit so that families can meet their basic needs, but it also offers non-cash support through programs like case management that help parents find and keep jobs. The Jobs for Success Act includes several provisions similar to a bill I introduced called the Coordinating Assistance for TANF Recipients Act. My bill would improve case management by providing states with more flexibility to custom work activities for individuals depending on their needs. I believe case management is critical in driving that change. Case managers are first responders. It's the case manager that provides much needed human support to families in need, helps them gain access to tools and services that will equip them to turn their lives around, get back to work and support their families. 25 years after welfare reform, President Biden is using temporary emergency COVID funds to take us backwards. Democrats upended the child tax credit in an unprecedented attempt to start using the IRS to distribute cash welfare to the tune of $100 billion per, $100 billion per year for further disincentivizing work. These payments will flow, no strings attached, regardless of whether the recipient earned any income or worked at all. Instead of designing effective evidence-based programs, Democrats wanted to create a system of automatic benefits that send poorer families a check and walk away, as if the absence of money were the only problem those families needed to face. To be sure, checks will make many families with immediate material deprivations, but families in poverty almost always face multiple barriers and have underlying problems that perpetuate the cycle of poverty from addiction, domestic violence, abuse and neglect, to unaddressed mental health problems. Republican principles for lifting families out of poverty are exactly the opposite. Every Expecting work in exchange for benefits is a foundational pillar of the 1996 reform efforts. As you will hear from our guests today, it worked. Welfare reforms focused on earned success, provided millions of families a pathway out of poverty through employment. Coupled with Republican pro-growth policies like those in the Tax Cuts and Job Act, these are the winning kind of solutions that we should be championing. No amount of endless government checks, no amount of well-intentioned can address the underlying challenges that could be holding a family back from success. Case management pr practices that promote work and focus on people, not programs, can help families set goals, connect them to useful services, and show them a path forward. Now more than ever, we cannot afford to wait. From the gas pump to the grocery store, inflation caused by out of control Democratic spending has devastating consequences for struggling families. Once again, Democrats are looking at another $3 trillion in spending. America's needy families need good paying jobs, not more emergency spending and endless government checks. With 9.3 million job openings and national worker shortage in a post COVID economy, the country can't afford to relegate an entire generation of workers to the sidelines. Republican solutions, such as those included in the Jobs for Success Act, focus on more modern approaches like investing in marginalized workers, promoting case management, developing the workforce, linking federal benefits to the pursuit of work and the skills that lead to work. I'm honored today to have the visionary leaders behind these principles join us today and look forward to hearing all of your comments.